Hello everyone, Basic Ollie here. Hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to another video. Today I've got you an iRacing video with quite possibly one of the maddest races I've ever done. So, let's give it a quick breakdown for you boys and girls. This is a 20 minute race in GT3 cars around a circuit called Long Beach. Now it has a very, very tight hairpin at the end. So tight in fact, Bruh. that Bruh. even at the start, when it starts, <laughs> we can't even get through the first hairpin without someone yeeting into the back of me. So I've got a times four before the race has even begun. But we're underway now. Uh, I believe I started in 17th place. So the idea of this video was to basically not qualify and then see how far we can move up the field. But what I didn't realise is that I was in a top split lobby. So I had to change this video. So I've still recorded the race because it was a, a hell of a race. But uh, yeah, so we had to kind of just drive on the fly and see what we could do in top split from the back. So we are in the Lamborghini uh, GT3 EVO. I've never really driven this car around or this track at all. We can see there's a Porsche off there already. So we couldn't even get through, uh, what's that, five corners without someone that ended backwards. So... You can already tell that's pretty much the theme of this race. Uh, hilarious, and it was such good fun, but not good fun for your I rating. So this circuit, incredibly tight. It's, I would say, would you say it's America's uh, answer to Monaco, shall we say, or Baku? It's um, so tight, there's literally a wall at every single corner. You can't get away from it. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's absolutely brilliant, but uh, madness at the same time. So as we go through turn 9 and then go through turn 10, uh, it's a long left-hander here, double apex are at low speeds, making sure we don't go into the back of Florin there in the BMW M4. That is essentially, as you've watched on board there, a lap of this absolute mad circuit. So we're going to go to lap 3 now as we go through turn 5. The Lamborghini there, uh, I've got too much on the curb and the rear was like nope and thankfully traction control kicked in and it actually saved my buttocks but you can see there's another two cars off here so we can add the total to three now so that's three cars that essentially are now out of this race and we're only three laps in uh, i think we started with a field of 18 or 19 so yeah that's three cars already gone already yeeted uh, into the next session shall we say so we're looking for the 400 meter board here breaking just after it now you want to get two wheels on the inside of this curb here and then get yourself ready for the double apex right or left hander i should say through turn 10 and then this long <laughs> this hairpin here you can't actually see the inside you can't not in my view anyways so unless you've got like um, a really zoomed out field of view you can't see it you can't see it at all or triple monitors but uh I don't have that setup, unfortunately. I'm just running a single monitor. Also, I don't have a right side of the car after making contact there. So, uh, yes, problematic to say the least. So as soon as I hit that wall, uh, I was pretty much down on top end, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. So we're on lap six now as we go through the first corner. And the BMW makes the easiest of mistakes. So easy to do. Uh, just locks up going to the turn one and yeets into the wall there. And unfortunately, he's got damage on the front right and he is going to slowly but surely drop back so does this Porsche here just slams into the wall such an easy thing to do on lap seven any lap really uh, that can happen to you and it really just does affect your race because it's only 20 minutes so a pit stop to fix it is just going to completely ruin the race it's utterly pointless you may as well just carry on and see what you can do it's exactly what this chap in front of me is going to do but I'm not really going to get the chance to overtake him if I keep making the same mistake through turn five but we go one lap later and now you can see there's been an issue for the Lamborghini up ahead, and he is now down into P11. So he's have he's had some sort of incident there, old uh, Davide, and he is uh, down with me. He's down with the plebs. So fingers crossed we can maybe uh, get ourselves past the chap here. Depends on how bad his damage is and what the pace is of the Lamborghini up ahead. But uh, yeah, so he's now in front of us, and we've also got uh, Matthias, I believe. He is in the Porsche, so he's been doing okay, despite the damage. I've not really been able to um, take advantage of such, because I do have a little bit of damage myself um, as we go through this extremely tight hairpin once more. Oh, and the Porsche gets hit. Oh, dear. Oh, no, 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 no. To be fair to the Lamborghini ahead, I think the Porsche was already on its way. So, yet again, that is death number four in this race. There's um, plenty of them so far. That process P11. And we have the suck 
of the Lamborghini up here. We're going to go side by side, break his leg can into turn one, but you know the mistake I'm going to make here. I'm going to clatter in the, to the wall. ABS kicked in, I break too late, and I uh, just couldn't slow the car down. And that is yet even more damage to the front right suspension of this Lamborghini. I've got to be honest, I'm amazed this thing is still moving right now. Um, absolute tank of a GT3 car, it seems, but we have survived. So we can crack on with the rest of this race. Now we go to lap 12 here. And I've managed to sort myself out in terms of pace, despite the damage. Finally lapping in the 119s. And that's exactly the kind of pace I want. I did a 119 one as my personal best uh, so far. But I do believe if I absolutely nail it, I could probably get in the 18s. But uh, I think I'd have to nail it to, uh, to get that done. Anyways, um, we've got another uh, Porsche in front of us here. That's having issues. The green Porsche, uh, the Lamborghini overtook him. And he's actually overtaken the Mercedes ahead as well. And that's kind of um, bottled the group up as such. And I'm now with them. So as we go through this hairpin once more, uh, you can see I've got quite a good launch onto the back of these guys. I'm going to see if we can get an attack. But no, actually, my editing means I'm going to skip to lap 13. So never mind. <laughs> so lap 13, then, again, you can see they're going side by side. So they're, they're, you know, they're at each other's throats on this one. So I'm just lurking in the background. Just waiting to take any sort of opportunity I can. They're going to go side by side now into turn 9. The Porsche has got a really good run on the Merc, but he's going to have to go around the outside if he wants to get this move done. Is the Merc going to defend on the inside of this corner? He is, but unfortunately, we've got double apex left-hander here, and the Porsche may just have it. But no, the Merc keeps the inside line, and he has the move, but he just kind of parks it. The Porsche has to go wide, and then it just turns into a parking lot somehow. And I don't even know how I've managed to do this, but I'm now up to P10 and I've overtaken the Porsche. Don't ask me how, it was literally like we just all stopped. Like a traffic jam on the M25 and that hairpin. No one could go anywhere. That Porsche went super wide uh, and then he was just going to end up in a wall if he didn't slow down. So now we've got to try and attack uh, Kenny in the Mercedes ourselves. So let's have a look and see if we can get a done, a get done a move on Kenny here as we go through turn four, just clipping the inside of that curb that you don't want to, you don't want the car to lift up. You want to hit the the lower side of the curb. You don't want to hit the, in, the higher up, otherwise the car just kind of flings in the air and it just takes a while for the car to set when you lose a shed load of time. Breaking at the 300 meter board, then clip the inside of that apex. Lovely stuff. We go through turn six, um, going down the straight here. You got to get yourself all the way to the left hand side as soon as you can to get a nice entry into turn eight. Now this lap isn't too bad. But we are half a second down on our personal best. The car really is not in tip-top condition. I have not treated her well. I have not treated her well at all in this one. But I'm just going to try and keep the pressure on the Mercedes driver. I'm going to keep the, the pressure on Kenny. So we go through this hairpin once more. And I actually hit the inside <laughs> of the hairpin there. I got that close. I tried that hard. I actually clipped the inside of the wall there. The imaginary wall because you can't bloody see the thing. Anyways, last lap here. This is the white flag. As we go through turn 10 for the last time, you can see the Porsche driver's looking a little bit keen. He goes for a super wide entry there, and it was looking for the cutback, and he just goes straight into the back of me. Straight into the back of me. And then the cheeky sod, Lucas the cheeky sod in the Porsche, tries to have a run on me on the inside to get that position. So he tried to yeet into the back of me, not on purpose, of course, um, but he has gone into the back of me and then tried to get the position back, which I wasn't too fond with. So I gave, once we crossed the line, and it didn't really matter about the car contact, I gave him a, a cheeky little shove, shall we say. But uh, let's have a look at the race highlights, the crashes, shall we say. So this is what happened on lap one, all right? You can see just a Constantina effect, and it just turned into bottleneck. And <laughs> this poor chap here, Martin, uh, <laughs> got damaged from the front and the back of his Porsche. Yeah, so... Bit of an F from him. And this is Samuel here. It just gives no space to Jeffrey whatsoever. Nothing he could do. And I believe Alessandro and the Porsche as well got collected by that a little bit. And uh, yeah, he did lose a position here. This is uh, Ricardo going up the inside of turn six. And oh my goodness me. Wow. What a yeet. That was the perfect yeet there. He got two for the price of one there. Was it Kenny? Our friend Kenny here. The chap we were trying to overtake the last couple of laps. So he just completely misses his breakaway. Hits the Porsche into the wall. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing stuff there, Kenny. And then this one is an honourable mention as well. Ricardo just goes back and <laughs> goes into the back of Davide. And then he has to go straight on. And he just gets a position. Mwah. Textbook yeeting there 
Superb stuff. And this is the Porsche hit the wall, and the Lamborghini driver here had absolutely no chance to respond to that. Absolutely none. So uh, I'd probably blame that on the Porsche, unfortunately. And this is the uh, this is the block on the M25 here. Nowhere for anyone to go. Uh, and we'll watch that again because it was actually quite funny. I actually quite enjoyed it. Uh, you can see the Porsche has gone for the super wide line, trying to cut back, but it's just nah, he's hit the wall. He's got no chance and um, end up getting hit once or twice there. And uh, <laughs> that's how he got the position. But uh, honestly, just a comical race. I absolutely love this one. And then you can see, oh, Florin just goes from. <laughs> Amazing, amazing. This is top split, by the way. This is actually top split, believe it or not. And uh, yeah, oh, it was comical. It was comical. Some of these takeouts are comical. And there we go. This is the last one here, Lucas, uh, I believe here. Just um, yeah, just trying to be a little bit cheeky. Just trying to nudge us in the back and still get the win. But thankfully, he did not. I said the win is top ten. But uh, yeah, what an absolutely crazy race. I absolutely thoroughly enjoyed it, and I really hope you did it as well. Uh, and please make sure if you did to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. But uh, absolutely loved it. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you for the next one, everyone. Take care. Ta-da.